have the first slide, please. We tend to light it a little bit so people can see it a bit better. Um, it says nothing is black and white, but it's in black and white. Uh, can I have the next slide, please? Uh, note to self, read this with conviction and passion, but fastish. There's a lot to fit in. Hit space bar. Um, yeah, oh yeah. I've got one there. Um, can somebody hold this for me? That Gemma, this is my value, just in case. Cheers. Um, good have the next slide, please. Uh, has anybody got a bottle of water? Cheers, thanks. Uh, just, yeah, next slide. Uh, thank you, introduction, next slide. Thank you, introduction. Uh, hi, we're the vacuum cleaner. Uh, our real name isn't important. Uh, we're an artist and activist collective and we're also disabled. So making performance and making work can sometimes just be a real battle, particularly speaking into these contexts, hence why I'm reading it this way. Next slide. Uh, in the many forms of medical treatment I've received for the past 13 years, I've come up against the one problem, and that is never answered or seems difficult to answer. How can I improve my mental illness whilst living in a system that is mental? How can I liberate myself within an oppressive framework in this land? Uh, surely the whole system needs to change at the same time as me getting better. How can you have one without having the other? Uh, I never really get an answer to this. Uh, real life parallel over. Uh, onto the question. Next slide. Uh, how can we stop making capitalism? Uh, but I'd like to change the question as I feel it actually should read how can we stop contributing to capitalism? Next slide. Uh, to cut a long answer short, we can't. The question suggests that there are spaces that capitalism can't reach, but some people can, will, and do put a pound sign on anything. So perhaps, more importantly, artists can't stop if other sectors don't. That would be like pissing in the wind, or improving my disability without changing the system that disables me. Uh, that's part of the brilliance of capitalism, its ability to divide us. Next slide. Um, now, I need someone to watch my polls. Um, somebody watch my polls for me. Thank you. Cheers. And you're going to have to move around with me as a wobble around the stage. Uh, this is so in case of uh, doing, doing this, uh, introduces a panic attack. Uh, start, please. Uh, the other relevant thing to consider is do artists want to stop making capitalism? And we all need to look around us at the end of the festivals to see that the vast majority have absolutely no interest in this. Next slide. Uh, so, most artists don't want to, and it's impossible anyway. Uh, but sometimes, however massive the problem you must overcome, it's worth doing because it's the right thing to do. Um, and let's be clear uh, capitalism is the source of so many problems in the world that replacing it is the right thing to do. Next slide. Uh, so, here are a few things that I found out that can be useful to begin the never-ending journey of radical social and personal change. Uh, number one, forget about copyright and intellectual property, because we all know in this room that the notion of owning a concept, idea, or product is so fucking stupid and arrogant that it could only have been invented by capitalists. So what's the alternative? Create work that can be shared freely, copied, remixed, re-edited. Next slide. Uh, two, don't suck corporate cock, it tastes like shit. <laughs> Secondly, don't suck on the nipple of others who've been sucking corporate cock, because the, the taste still comes through. Make work that capitalism can't co-opt. As live artists, we are as guilty as any other sector. Uh, the Edinburgh Festival don't seem to have a problem helping with the branding of corporations like RBS, BP and Shell. Is that your motivation for making work? Meaning that. Next slide, please. Uh, I'm getting sweaty. No? Leg shaking? No. Does everyone in the room hate me? No. Okay. Shall we carry on? Yeah, all right, next slide. Uh, number three, dismantle the art market. The art market is about as sensible as collectible debt obligations or the futures market. Art that is a commodity changes the function of the work and can destroy it. That sucks. So try taking back power from Jay Joplin, Sadie Coles, Jude Kelly, 
Nicholas Sorota and that fucking Tory advertising shithead Sarchi. If you have a Dr. D, burn it. He won't mind, trust me. No, you can't have his email address. Next slide, please. Uh, four, cut the head of the culture of celebrity off. Make work about the world, not about how important you are in relation to it. Because trust me, you're not that fucking interesting in either one way. Make work because you have to, not because you can or are asked. Uh, can I take that, please? He's got the water. If in like five minutes I start going really slow, then uh, somebody else take over. Where was I? Um, over the last four months, I've been making work uh, to stay alive. And one of the joys of being mental is that you can sometimes lose the secret ego. Now, I'm not advocating that everybody develops a dis disabling illness, but moving away from ego driven work is a good way of non participation in a system that fuels the super ego. Next slide, please. Jesus, why did I say yes to this? I thought I promised myself not to make any work in the non-art world. Sell out. Anyway, next slide. Uh, five, participate in progressive social change. Representative art is so 20th century. And also, no disrespect to the artist, but let's not start a revolution. Are you in the room, the artist? No, good, no disrespect, kind of. Um, we may be able to start revolutions, but I can't think of any example of revolutions creating what they actually intended. Revolutions often move at a rate at which humans fall back into old patterns of power, oppression, etc., etc., or are hijacked by the World Bank, IMF, and all their structural adjustments. Next slide, please. The problem with a revolution is that you always end up back where you started. I'd rather move forward, always trying to reach the utopia in the distance. It's all about process, yeah. Also, um, stop playing your revolution. It makes you look pathetic, and it's kind of condescending to the kid that just got arrested for looting a bottle of water. Next slide, please. Uh, create alternatives, real or implied. Consider the reach of capitalism. How does it take hold of you, your work, the people you work with, the institutions you engage with, engage with. Figure out some alternatives and take these with you into your life. After all, there are no boundaries between art and life. Uh, so stick your case as much as you can. Try hard. That's all we can do. Next slide. Yeah, I'm okay. Next slide. Um, don't go with the flow. Don't do something because uh, it's right for you. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense, did it? Do something because it's the right thing to do for you and those around you. Don't believe the hype and don't jump on a bandwagon because everyone else has, like doing a participative performance. Oh shit. Um, finally, do it together. Act in solidarity, not solidarity. Solidarity. Give real support where you can. Uh, artists are generally very generous people. Um, take pride in that. Uh, okay. Can I stop now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and for those that wish, let's continue the slow, complex, messy progress of constant, radical social change forever and ever. Next slide. Thank you.